do you think rocks are boring? Well, think again. Not only do they batter the heck out of scissors in a good old-fashioned game of rock, paper, scissors, but they can also be in rather peculiar shapes. These are the 20 most unreal rock formations. Number 20. The Wasco Stone for a while, this rock violated all the laws of physics, until it didn't. This shifting stone in eastern Argentina was once a major tourist attraction. It was a 300-ton granite behemoth which balanced extremely precariously atop a cliffside overlooking the town of Tandil. For years, people would rock up and pose beside it, pretending to be holding up its colossal weight in oh-so-hilarious pictures. The rock wobbled in its place and foolhardy folks placed things like bottles beneath it to watch as it teetered and squashed them. Seems kind of dangerous when you think about it. I wonder if anyone had done a proper risk assessment. Anyways, it turned out that, despite what people believed about the shifting stone's gravity-defying powers, it was really only a matter of time before the thing shifted itself a teeny bit too far and tumbled off down the cliff edge. Yikes! Although there was no one around to witness the fall when it happened, you can only imagine how surprising that may have been had a snap-happy tourist been leaning on it at the time. In the way of these things, a massive plastic replica has been erected in the original spot, this time with a lovely safety rail for our modern sensitivities and still attracts visitors, albeit in a less gung-ho fashion. Perhaps it's time to stop picnicking beneath these so-called miracle rocks. Just a suggestion, don't get cross. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. This rock violates all the laws of physics. Situated in the Naka Cave, this rock formation looks like a giant snake. It looks so much like one that many people assumed it was actually a colossal snake that had been mummified. But no, it's simply a rock that looks like one. Incredible! As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag sweet topic. Number 19. Garimi. The village of Garimi in central Anatolia in Turkey is famous for its extraordinary rock formations. These spaces were actually created by people, as well as the usual weathering and aging processes. The village of Garimi sits in a vast area of valleys which are full of these crazy rock formations. People saw the potential in these ready-made structures, and in the Middle Ages, they hollowed out parts of this particular area to create the village. This was once an agricultural area, but these days, the industry in this place is tourism. The village has been on the UNESCO World Heritage List since 1985 and attracts many visitors to witness this unique place for themselves. The spectacular nature of the landscape has made hot air balloon rides one of the most popular ways to view the area. There are dwellings, troglodyte villages, and underground towns all throughout the valley, and some of the most interesting rock formations are those that are known as the fairy chimneys or hoodoos. These are tall, thin spires of rock. These are remarkable throughout the area and were created by water and wind erosion over time. The soft rock in these formations is relatively easy to carve out, hence the number of troglodyte cave-dwelling homes within the area. And it looks pretty awesome from a drone camera as well, doesn't it? Number 18. Rashat Structure since NASA first began shooting people into space, those same people have been turning their faces back towards Earth and marveling at her beauty. And that perspective has given us all a whole new sense of our extraordinary planet, as well as a chance to see some pretty unusual things that suddenly became properly visible for the very first time. So when peeping out at planet Earth, astronauts are universally intrigued by the Rashat structure. This is a circular geological feature which looks a bit like a bullseye target shape that's been carved into the landscape. It's believed that the domed shape has been gradually formed from erosion of originally flat layers of rock, causing a kind of bulbous dome to poke out from the surface of the Earth. This is definitely one of those things where you need to get far away from it to really appreciate how it looks, you know, like modern art. And in the case of something as big as the Rashat structure, the best place to see it is apparently from space. So that's convenient for all of us mere mortals. Hopefully we'll be able to hitch a lift on Jeff Bezos's space 
space bus in the not too distant future. But until then, we'll have to simply enjoy the footage shot by the few that are fortunate enough to have taken that extraordinary look back at home. Number 17. Uluru Aluru, which has been known as Ayers Rock, is a massive monolith in Australia's Northern Territory. It's a sacred place for the Aboriginal people of the region. The rock is predominantly composed of sandstone, but it's not 100% sandstone and therefore it's not a true monolith. Although in general, Aluru is referred to with this term, geology, you know. There are misnomers regarding Aluru. It is not, despite popular opinion, the biggest rock in the world. That title goes to Mount Augustus in West Western Australia, which is one and a half times the size of Aluru. So who even gives a fig? However, despite not giving a hoot about who's the biggest, Aluru is still one mighty rock. It is taller than the Eiffel Tower, and if you were to walk around the base, it would take you at least three and a half hours. So it's fat as well as tall. In fact, what sits above the surface of the earth isn't even the entire rock. There's even more that's underground, over a mile and a half of it to be precise. So that's a very big rock indeed. Number 16. Rock of Nazla this, I grant you, is a bit of a head-scratcher, definitely a bit weird, but apparently some people have some kind of explanation for the phenomenon. The al Nazla rock formation is located in the desert of Saudi Arabia. It's interesting for two pretty significant reasons. First of all, it has petroglyphs on the surface, which date back many thousands of years and are evidence of humans living in the area all the way back to the Bronze Age. Now, normally that would be sufficient to make a rock noteworthy, but this rock is better than that. This rock actually is two rocks, and that isn't even the coolest thing about it. The two rocks seem to have been hewn together out of one larger rock, but the separation between them is so straight and narrow that it looks to all intents and purposes as though it was cut in half by a laser. And then there's even more. They seem to be balanced on improbably tiny bases of other rock. So what in the world is going on here? Now surely it's the work of aliens, right? It must be, but apparently not. Some alien party poopers have got some much other boring theories about geology that actually explain it. Ugh geology. Anyways, apparently it's all about weathering and erosion and whatnot. How so very boring. My pet guinea pig Twinkle has actually fallen asleep. Number 15. Delicate Arch Trail Utah, aside from some of its more famous and definitely more questionable ideas about things, has a lot of rather interesting rocks. In fact, Utah is so well into rocks that if you take a closer look at their vehicle license plates, you'll even see a rock depicted there. That rock is the Delicate Arch itself. Located in Arches National Park, the Delicate Arch is apparently considered to be the best arch of all. I say this because there are more than 2,000 naturally formed sandstone arches in Arches National Park. Park, and yet this is the chosen one, the one that will signify all things Utah, well, on their license plates at least. The Delicate Arch is 46 feet tall and 32 feet wide, so it's a reasonably impressive sight to behold. In that characteristic orange-red sandstone that is ubiquity in this region, the Delicate Arch is only accessible by hiking a trail. It is about one and a half miles there, and then, duh, the same back again on terrain that's rated as difficult by people who go around raiding such things. But it is a cool arch, if you happen to enjoy such geological features. And I ask you, who the heck doesn't? Number 14. Yalu Geopark the Cape of Yalu on the north coast of Taiwan is known for its landscape of rock formations that are scattered across the area that's known as Yalu Geopark. This geopark is home to a whole bunch of honeycomb rocks, many of which have been fashioned into rather jolly shapes by the hands of the two great artists, time and weather. This place has lots of unusually shaped rocks, some of those pointy hoodoos formed from sedimentary rock that we've been learning about, as well as a variety of creatively monikered individual stones. Many 
of these named rocks require a certain amount of head tilting and squinting in order to really understand how they garnered such titles, but even still, that's part of the fun when you take a hedonistic wild adventure to a geopark to look at rocks now, isn't it? It's here that you can find such exciting stones as mushroom rocks, the queen's head, fairy shoe, and whatever this might mean, sea candles. So go on, rock yourself out with the epic fun times, leave no stone unturned in the quest for the most excitement that you could ever have with a rock. Number 13. Canisteinen Rock well, here it is, the rock that we've been looking for for our whole entire lives. In fact, it was there all along, sitting in Norway. Who knew? This particular beauty has been fashioned by waves crashing around it for a bazillion years, gradually wearing away the lower parts of what would have once been a much larger, rounder sort of rock. This is all such thrilling stuff, isn't it? Anyways, there are plenty of fans of this Norwegian rock. Some of them think it looks like this, others think it looks like that. You know, everyone has to have an opinion, even about a rock. So some of the most exciting suggestions are a goblet, a wonky heart, a whale tail, and even a mushroom cloud. But the real question here is, what do you think? What weird and wonderful things can you see if you squint real hard at this old big old rock for long enough? And won't you please share those thoughts with the rest of the class? You know what to do. Sling it in the comments section down below. Or, you know, just sling some mud. Have a go at me about my pronunciations of things and my voice and how you hate me. Whatever you feel's best. Number 12. Man Puppiner Rock these strange and slightly spooky rock formations have a name that means small idol mountain or idol stone. Located in the Ural Mountains in the Komi Republic within the Russian Federation, they're considered to be one of the so-called seven wonders of Russia. Each of these rocks is approximately between 30 and 42 meters tall, and it's believed to be 200 million years ago that there were actually mountains where these pillars now stand. But time and weather, especially all the harsh conditions of rain, snow, frost, wind, and heat gradually wore them away, but left behind these pillars. Apparently, the pillars are made from some super strong solid stuff that I'm not going to attempt to pronounce, and this stuff didn't even erode like the regular mountain junk, and so there they still stand today. Over time, these pillars have been seen as sacred by the local people and fascinating by geologists, and now they're considered worth a visit by tourists, despite being well off the beaten track. But there you go, there's nothing like an unusual rock formation to get people going. Number 11. Keurig Bolton Rock Norway's famous Keurig Mountain is an impressive, imposing big old rock that draws climbers looking for a big challenge and other extreme sports head cases. Base jumping, an insane sounding activity where the very brave, or borderline bananas, jump from a high place, free fall for a bit, and then travel the remaining distance to the ground by releasing a parachute and crossing their fingers and whatnot. One of the most popular activities to do on this rocky outpost of the Norwegian fjords is to strap into a parachute and literally literally leap off the edge of the sheer cliff edge. Awesome and terrifying at the same time. The closest a person gets to flying and also officially the most dangerous sport on the planet. Norway is famous for its extraordinarily epic landscapes with chilly fjords, high mountains, and lots of healthy, healthy outdoor winter sports activities. And if you're looking for a natural high and you feel no fear like my pet guinea pig Twinkle, then a little base jumping off the rock is totally up your road. I just wonder how many bugs that you'll swallow on the way down. Number 10. Marble Caves of Chile Chico this rather bizarre looking big block of marble seems to rest on the lake at this remote spot on the border between Chile and Argentina. That big block of solid marble, well it's been carved away over time by the waters of Lake General Carrera. The gradual 6,000 odd years of weathering of the rock has resulted in smooth and swirly looking caves inside the peninsula. And these are made all that more spectacular by the reflections from the blue waters of the lake itself. The colors that are reflected here change all the time, reflecting the seasons and water levels and changing in intensity. It's all very snazzy indeed, if you happen to like that sort of thing, but kind of tricky to get to on the account of being in a remote lake in South America. So just enjoy these pretty pictures from the comfort of your own screen, you lucky things. I really do love to spoil you, don't I? Number 9. The Giant's Causeway 
The extraordinary geological feature of the Giant's Causeway and Country Antrim in Northern Ireland is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the source of many legends. It's also really kind of cool. The result of an ancient volcanic eruption, the Giant's Causeway today is an area at the coast which is made up of around about 40,000 basalt columns. These rocky structures all interlock in such a way as to appear as though they've been deliberately placed there. The legend goes that the columns of rock are the remains of a causeway structure that was once built there by a giant. Chance the name? You see? Clever stuff, you know. The giant was Finn McCool, who was challenged to a fight by a Scottish giant, so he built this causeway to facilitate the meeting. And then there are a couple of other different tales that are nowhere near as cool as how that one played out. These days, it's a place that's hugely popular as a tourist destination, which is also a haven for wildlife, especially seabirds and many unusual kinds of plants as well. Whether it was built by a giant or a volcano or whatever, the Giant's Causeway is completely unique and definitely a bit of a head-scratcher. Number 8. Split Apple Rock now it's time to seriously up the tempo in this rundown of big old interesting rocks. Here's a boulder, but it's not any regular old boring boulder like the other kinds that you may have gotten used to. Oh no, this is a big boulder that is split in half. I know, it's wild, but there you go. The split apple rock is named for obvious reasons, I would say. It can be found in Tasman Bay, which is on the South Island of New Zealand. The local people know the rock as Toko Nawa, which actually means open rock. Again, the the naming is not exactly original, but 10 points for being extremely accurate and descriptive. The granite boulder is, naturally, a source of fascination for rock nerds everywhere. It is seemingly split perfectly in half down its center. So how does something like that happen? Well, it's not been exactly cleared up, but they say the most logical reason is likely that it's the result of something called meteorization and thermal expansion. This is a phenomenon that occurs more readily in cold environments, and if there was an existing split in the rock, then water gets inside and gradually the whole thing is slowly split in half. But the Maori story is a lot more interesting. They say that the boulder was fought over by two deities who both basically wanted to own the massive rock. They then fought and fought and fought until they realized that neither was ever going to relent on the subject, so they simply split the boulder in half and each had their share. Number 7. Immortal Bridge Mount Tai in the province of Shandong in China is a place of great significance in Chinese history and culture. It's considered to be one of the five sacred mountains of China and is seen as a symbol of peace and prosperity. So you can imagine that the stuff within its boundaries are all imbued with an extra meaning and symbolism. This particular bit is known as the Immortal Bridge, and it's actually just a point where several massive rocks seem to have fallen into the space between two cliff sides above a deep ravine. The thing is, though, they managed to get themselves completely wedged in place, creating this bridge formation between the rocky outcrops. Although it may look as though it could have just happened, and it certainly doesn't look like the most stable bridge that I've ever seen, this immortal bridge is kind of deserving of its name and has been here for probably about a bazillion years. Number 6. The Wave, Arizona now, this place literally advertises itself as the premier photographic destination in the U.S. Southwest. It sounds like everyone there is taking pictures all the live long day, doesn't it? So, do you want to take the same photos as every other Tom, Dick, and Harry? Well, is this how we just keep up with the Joneses in the internet age? Actually, as it turns out, this place is a bit trickier to get to than some. It's under the protection of the U.S. Bureau of Land Management, meaning that there are some official gatekeepers who will only dole out a meager number of permits to the location of the wave rock formation. Actually, 64 people per day are allowed to visit. But getting a hold of that permit is an exercise in bureaucratic hoop jumping that is not for the faint of heart. Many Instagramming individuals are turned away disappointed and permitless every single day. It's a fairly tough endeavor even if you do manage to procure a pass. The terrain is difficult, there's actually no trail, and oh, an average of one person dies each year just trying to get there. So perhaps it's a place that's best viewed from the safety of your couch. We at the Fancy Banana are happy to facilitate that for you, you lucky things. Don't say I've never given you anything. I have literally saved your life today, perhaps. Number 5. Stone Tree Arbol de Piedra 
Nature really does manage to do a remarkable job at creating some pretty impressive pieces of modern art, and here is one such thing for your eyeballs. Located in the Bolivian desert, the lone figure of the Arbol de Piedra, or the stone tree, is not only an interesting shape on an otherwise flat desert scape, it's also kind of iconic. In fact, the stone tree is a favorite place for the more intrepid photographer to get their kicks, and it's easy to see why. The weather-beaten rock formation was created largely by the intense battering that this rock received from the wind as it flung sand at the base of it relentlessly for thousands of years. This kind of sandblasting is likely to create at least some interesting textures, if not to actually begin to carve great chunks out of most types of stone. It cuts an impressive figure on the landscape and definitely requires a closer look. It could, from a distance, be a petrified tree, but the fact that it's a carved rock sculpture of a tree created in entirely by the desert itself just makes it even more beautifully intriguing. Number 4. Torghatten now, if you're bored with regular rocks or big old mountains, then look no further. Here's a massive rock, or possibly a mountain with a hole right through it. Yes, your prayers have finally been answered. Such a place does exist, and it is kind of cool, but that's probably just because it's in Norway, to be honest. Torghatten is officially a granite dome and can be found on the island of Torget in Nordland County in Norway. And the coolest part of it all is that you can clamber up and walk through the hole. Oh, happy days. All our dreams of massive rocks are finally coming true. The hole is actually a fairly substantial tunnel that goes through the rock, and it measures 160 meters long and 35 meters high, so it's not exactly a small one. The best thing, however, is the story of how the hole came to existence in the first place. Now, I know everyone enjoys a good hole story, so here we go. The legend behind Torghatten goes that there was an enraged horseman. Who knows why he he was so cross, who was busy chasing the maiden of Lika. For why, it's not really clear, but as he took aim at her with his arrow, the troll king, Sulis, threw his hat into the air to deflect the arrow. Then, at that exact moment, the arrow pierced the hat, the sun rose, which apparently turned them all to stone for some reason, but that's how the hole in the rock was created. Anyways, even if it is a weird Norwegian story, it still had a troll king and a maiden, so what more could you actually need? Number 3. Fly Geyser Located on the Fly Ranch in northern Nevada, the Fly Geyser is a six-foot-tall, multicolored geyser that spurts out boiling water five feet into the air. How jolly exciting! The geysers on this particular site in Nevada's desert were all created kind of by accident. When people went out there in 1916 drilling wells for water, they soon discovered that the water they could reach was too hot to use, so they did what all people tend to do when stuff doesn't work perfectly the first time. They simply abandoned it. So they tried again in 1964, and the same thing happened, and another accidental geyser was then created. Basically, after all of these wells were dug, then left to their own devices, the calcium carbonate began to build up on the surface and create the brightly colored, weird-looking structures that exist today. That they also spurt boiling water is a bonus that makes the whole blunderous well-digging abandonment kind of worthwhile in the end. For tourism's sake, anyways. Number 2. Balancing Rock and now for your lucky, lucky eyeballs, we have an elegant and impossibly balanced column of rock that will boggle even your jaded and internet-addled brains. This balancing rock is known as Nature's Time Post. It's a 9-meter tall, narrow column of basalt which balances vertically on its very tip on a cliff edge of St. Mary's Bay in Nova Scotia. It's one of many visually striking bits of basalt in the area, but is the most fascinating thing on the account of its seemingly physical impossibility. But despite appearances, the rock doesn't seem to be going anywhere. People have tried to pull it down, but to no avail. It's not budged one iota. In fact, even though it's possible to see the various places where other similar basalt columns have indeed collapsed, the balancing rock is truly steadfast in its position in life. And that's lucky, really. Otherwise, what else would anyone have taken pictures of? You can't just sit around all day hoping that a bear might pass by and want to pose for a fun picture, you know. Number 1. Moraki Boulders 
Ah yes, just what we've all been waiting for, some big round rocks on the beach. The thrills just never end. Apparently, even though boulders are a thing literally everywhere on planet Earth, these particular boulders are showing off. They happen to be extra large, and that's something that people are really into for some reason. But what do you think? The size of your boulders really matter? Let's have a discussion about it down below. And so, these big old boulders can be found on the beach in Otago, which is on the east coast of New Zealand, South Island. Island, just in case you find yourself desperately needing to fondle these big balls of rock. I know I do. The oversized Meraki boulders measure up to six and a half feet in diameter and are, to the naked eye, almost spherical in appearance. Not only are they the biggest, but New Zealand is so proud of its balls that they've declared them the national importance and they're a highlight of the tourist trail. Given the fact that they took more than 4 million years to form, if you do fancy a visit, you need to get there soon before erosion gets the better of them. Nobody's making any new ones, you know, at least for the foreseeable future. Well, who the heck knew that there were so many cool and weird rocks out there? And just how did they all happen? I might take up an interest in geology just yet, but how about you? Were you amazed by these extraordinary physics-defying rocks, or are you asleep and just going to wake up with a lot of boring geology videos clogging up your YouTube recommendations. As always, let me know what you think about this video, or, you know, whatever you need to get off your chest, in the comments section down below. Also, give a shout out to my pet guinea pig, Twinkle. Check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.